Hey everybody, Dr. Nicole Friels here. Welcome to part two in our series on how to incorporate over-the-counter inserts into your practice. So what I like to do is carry a variety of price ranges. So I have my customs at $600 and then I have my low-grade footsteps at $40. Now I wanted stuff in between so we use quadra steps as well. The price point is 225. And then I have power step pro tech at $65. My best selling insert is the power step. And if you've ever researched on the market, how people look at the patient purchasing journey and any analysis there, and what are they typically going to pay for? Number one, you have to select what's best for them. They don't know they're there because they need information and they need help. And that is your job. So if I have a patient that comes in with Pez Cavus, I know I have two options. If I have a, pa a patient that comes in with you know, super flat feet, then I know I have three options outside of custom. Super important to talk about the patient's day. What do you do for a living? What's your week like? Do you have children? Are you running all the time? Oh, you work in the OR all day. Okay, so put all of these pieces together and selecting the proper insert for them and then you can go into number one, this is my first recommendation, which is typically a custom orthotic um, and why. And then my second option is that, hey, you know, if your insurance doesn't cover it, or perhaps it's just not a good idea or a good time for you to get a custom. I love power steps. They fit great. The quality is great. It lasts a very long time. So when you dispense an over-the-counter insert, make sure you have told them, hey, I expect this based on your life. I expect this to last about four to six months, six to eight, or maybe a year. I doubt it's gonna be a year. And then that can really help guarantee that repeat business, that seamless income that you don't have to work for. You've already done the work. The work is on the front end, it's the education. And I'm an over-educator because I wanna know the why. And if I know the why, then I'll believe anything you're saying. But if I don't and you can't explain it, then I'm really hesitant to, to purchase or take any of your recommendations. So kill them with education, kill them with knowledge first, and then you can show them the few options. And this doesn't have to be a lengthy visit. It really doesn't. As long as you know your product, you know your anatomy, you can match up the two. It's not hard, but really educating the patient and explaining why this particular one is better than this one is what is typically missing. We just get a little too lazy sometimes. Um, we're too, you know, not even lazy. We're busy. We're backed up. Patients are waiting. Let the staff do it. When I've done that, I've noticed the conversion rate is significantly lower. Instead of me taking 45 seconds to explain why this particular one is best for them. Once you get your elevator speech together about that product, then it'll make it seamless and easy for you to recommend just about anything. From a price perspective, it's super important that you are watching the uh, macroeconomics to understand how you need to pivot your practice accordingly to what's going on in the world. Uh, my husband happens to do this a lot. So he guides me on, hey, people aren't buying, people aren't spending excessive money. Um, and so then we will change and we'll go try to renegotiate with our suppliers and just say, hey, market's changed. You're gonna need to drop your price if you want us to continue. So the most important thing to get away from this particular episode is to make sure you have a price point for everyone. You don't wanna be that high-end steakhouse. You don't wanna be McDonald's. You wanna be right in the middle something like TGI Fridays, I don't know, Ted's Montana Grill, something like that where you offer premium, but you also offer something that's a little lower, but still excellent quality. Don't ever carry anything in your practice that you don't believe in or you know is a crap quality because your reputation depends on your recommendations. So no matter what the good news or bad news is about their insurance coverage for um, custom orthotics, it's your job to share that with them and arm them with knowledge and let them select and choose for themselves. A lot of times I will just stair step them in to, hey, maybe we'll try this first a lower level and then we'll go up and then we'll go up to a custom or maybe we'll go from a custom down. I mean, it's, it's all over the place. That's when the patients feel really involved in their healthcare. When you are actively looking at these inserts, what makes sense for you, what doesn't, and you're pivoting around that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next time.